Hi everybody, this video discusses the use of block diagrams in control systems. Well, let's start off with some conventions. This is a so-called block, and a block is a mathematical representation of a system, system H. And X and Y are signals, signals flowing to the system and signals coming out of the system. Suppose H is a representation of an amplifier, then H could be a gain, let's say 3. So in this case, the signal X is amplified by a gain of 3 and will be the signal Y. So Y equals 3 times X, and in general, Y equals H times X. And I said it could be an amplifier, so H could be a gain, but it can also be a much more complicated mathematical expression. It could include an integrator or a differentiator, or in general, H can be a transfer function. So we can define that transfer function, so the mathematical behavior of that system H, as H equals the signal Y over X. So signal Y is H times X, or H, the system, will be signal Y over X. Then we can discuss two basic um, aspects for blocks and for um, signals. When we have two systems in cascade or in series, then we can say the signal Y, the output signal of system H2, equals h2 times h1 times x and why is that because y is equal to h times the signal over here and that signal is an outcome of h1 times x so y is equal to h time h2 times h1 times x so we can say y over x equals h1 times h2 so we can replace the cascade or series connection of H1 and H2 by a new system which is equal to H1 times H2. So that's the simplification with respect to systems. We have also a simplification for signals because when we have a signal over here X1 and we add up a signal X2 then we can say Y is X1 plus X2. So we can say 1 is a combined signal which is equal to X1 plus X2. And of course, this could also be a subtraction. When here is a minus, then it would be X1 minus X2. Okay, so now let's discuss the most uh, common used system representation and control systems, which is the feedback system. And the feedback system is a closed system with negative feedback. Suppose we have a signal x over here and x, x could be a set point for instance to a temperature control system so the setting of your temperature and y could be a representation of the measured temperature for instance by a sensor and volt which is amplified by system h2 to get a new temperature signal over here then we can say well at this point we define an arrow which is equal to the set point set point for the temperature in my example and the real measured temperature over here and now we try to make an expression a simplification of that complete feedback system over here and we do it in two steps we can say well first um, mathematical expression could be the expression of the error e which equals x minus h2 times y so the signal E represents the set point signal X over here minus the output signal Y times the system H2. So E is this signal minus that signal. Second mathematical equation says that Y is equal to H1 times E. So Y equals E times H1. And now can I can substitute this expression for E into that expression and then I get y equals e which is this expression x minus y times h2 times times h1 which is equal to x times h1 over here minus y times h2 times h1 which is over here 
And now we can put this part of the expression to the left side of the equation, and I, then I get y plus y times h2 times h1, which is over here, equals x times h1. So that equals y times 1 plus h2 times h1. Remember, 1 times y is that y, and h2 times h1 times y is this expression, and that equals x times h1. So when we have that, this expression, we can um, calculate a complete expression from the output signal y over the input signal x, which is equal to y over x is h1 divided by 1 plus h2 times h1. And that's an important one for a feedback signal, which says that y over x is h1, and h1 is everything which is in the forward branch divided by 1 plus h1 times h2, and h1 times h2 are all the systems in the loop. So again, y over x is system h1, which is in the forward branch, divided by 1 plus h1 times h2, which are the systems in the loop. So that's a general expression for a feedback system. Um, one remark, when this was a plus, then this should be a minus, and you can calculate it by yourself by doing the expressions, uh, mathematical relations, we, we, which we discussed one minute ago. Okay, so h1 times h2 is called the loop transfer function, the open loop transfer function, also called the loop gain. Oh, okay, so now let's look how we can simplify complex systems with a lot of blocks in it. Suppose we have a system and in that system a block G1 is in this place. So we have an, an input signal, let's say X1, and this is X2, and let's call that output signal Y. What we also can do is we can place this block G1 at this point in my system, but then again this system which is directly fed to the output is now when when i when i don't compensate it is now fed through g1 so i have to compensate this signal by a new system block which is 1 over g1 so g1 to the power minus 1 so now we get the output signal is y is x1 times g1 so y is x1 times here we get g1 minus x2 minus x2 times the inverse of g1 times g1 and those two are compensated so these um, block diagrams are equal to each other another example is when we have a system block over here g1 we can also replace that block by a block over here in the forward line and one in the feedback line over here and then you can see that this output signal is again that signal minus that signal multiplied with G1, which equals signal times G1 minus that signal times G1, and then we get again that output signal. So that is block, um, yeah, movement, block um, um, adjustments of a block diagram. So can, we can move with these blocks to make our life uh, easier when we want to. Another example is this example, in which we have two feedback systems, H2 and H1. The system H2, the output of it, is fed with a plus um, to this summation block, and the output of system H1 is fed with a minus over here. What we also can do is we can replace H2 and H1 by one new feedback block, and that feedback, blo feedback block equals h1 minus h2. Why is that the same? Because the signal over here flows through this block, so we get y, when there's a signal y over here, is fed through this block, so here we get y times h1 minus y times h2, and then we get a minus over here, so we get h is so we get y times h1 with a minus so y times 
h1 with a minus and we get y times minus h2 with a minus so minus times minus is a plus so we get y times h2 so y times h2 over here with a plus so this is a simplification of that block diagram okay um, suppose I have this system and we have seen in the previous slide that the output divided by the input is equal to the output over the input we call that in the previous slide y over x is everything in the forward branch g1 times g2 which is expressed over here divided by 1 plus plus because here's a minus so 1 plus everything in the loop g1 times g2 times h so 1 plus h times g1 times g2 so we can um, we can replace a complete feedback system by a new system block with this mathematical expression over here now let's see now let's um, discuss manipulation of a block diagram in which we have multiple feedback loops and signals over here can we um, manipulate this system block by moving blocks so we get a simplified block diagram what we see over here this looks like a feedback system which we discussed in the previous slide but there is one difference in this feedback system there is a signal fed to the output so uh, we don't have that clear feedback loop over here but we have a signal coming in to this point so adding that to the output of that block so we cannot say that we um, realize a new system block with the feedback rules which we discussed earlier but we have to do something to make it more easy in a way that we might um, reduce it by one feedback block so what can we do um, one of the um, measures we can do is we um, cut this wire over here because when we do that we see over here that we have a clear feedback system and when we put that over here then we have a new feedback system because there is no signal added to a certain point in my feedback loop but I may not add this line over here because what happens is that these signals which are directly fed to the input of H2 are fed in this situation through G2 to the inputs of H2 so I have to compensate that signal um, by taking the inverse of J2 so I have to put uh, G2 minus 1 as a system block over here and then I have a system which equals that system and then I could further simplify it by simplifying this feedback system and call it for instance P and then I have another feedback system and I can apply the same rules for that feedback system and then I get, could get an expression of the output C over the input R well let's do it by uh, using this example <clears throat> this is a um, real life example in which we have two feedback loops we have an inner feedback loop and we have an out of feedback loop and that could be a motion system a motion system with for instance a current amplifier which measures the currents and feeds it back to a current control and this could be for instance a speed or a position controller well uh, I'm interested in the transfer function output C over input R how could we do it well the approach is as follows we are we try to simplify this feedback system by a new system block by applying the rules for a feedback system and when we have that we have a new system block over here we call that P and then we can um, use again the rules for a feedback system and when then we can um, get the relationship between the output C and the input R so let's do it first of all we start we're simplifying this feedback system so the output C over the input which we define over here and we call that M could be a real uh, number or a signal name we call it M over here so we get C over M and C over M is everything 
in the forward branch every system block in the forward branch so g2 times g3 g2 times g3 divided by 1 plus because there is a minus over here 1 plus everything which is in the loop so g2 times g3 times times h2 so that's over here so again it's everything in the forward binds g2 times g3 divided by 1 plus g2 times g3 times h2 so that is c over m and let's call that a new system block and let's call it p so we can replace this complete system by a new system block p which has this mathematical expression this transfer function so we, then we get this situation and now we can say c over r is again everything every system block in the forward branch divided by one plus because this is a minus one plus everything in the loop so let's do it we get c over r is g1 times p everything in the forward branch divided by one plus because of the minus one plus g1 times p times h1 so to um, finalize um, this um, calculation into one new transfer function we can substitute the transfer function for p over here and over here and when you do that and you work it out then you get this complete expression c over r is g1 times g2 times g3 divided by 1 plus g2 times g3 times h2 plus g1 times g2 times g3 times h1 you can work it out by yourself by um, re, re simplifying all the fractions with which are in this complete fraction and then you can uh, you could, should get this expression well that's everything about multiple um, um, by modifying block diagrams and by simplification uh, of block diagrams. Thank you for watching and I see you next time.